Good morning. We're excited to be leaving Cebu today. Well, we're actually not leaving Cebu. We're leaving Mactan and we're going across to Bantayan Island. We think it should take us all in all about six hours to get from here across there. And we're hoping that when we get to Bantayan, there'll be little to no rain. We'll see. But what we're going to do is we're going to head there now. We've just got to head to Cebu North Bus Terminal. And then from there, we'll catch a bus up to a place called Hagnaya Port, jump on a ferry and get across to Santa Fe in Bantian Island. We've just arrived at the North Bus Terminal and it's just before eight o'clock. So we did a little bit of research online and we're thinking that there's a bus due to leave at eight o'clock. We haven't booked a ticket in advance because with Cerise, usually you can just arrive at the bus station and buy your ticket. So we're hoping we can leave at eight o'clock. Thank you. There's also another option. If there's a big group of you that's traveling across to Bantayan, you can get a minivan and I'm not entirely sure of the price. The guy was just telling us there that the bus does take longer, of course, than the minivan. He said the bus takes five hours. So we'll check. We'll check what time we leave and we get there and we'll confirm exactly how long it takes. But the bus is here now. Let's just check. Go. I think. Hi, can I just ask you? We're going to Santa Fe. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Okay. So do we pay to the Hagnaya and then we get off and pay for the ferry? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Jerry, we can get this one. What time is it leaving? Uh, Thirty. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. Thank you. This. Yeah. This one leaves at eight thirty. So that's good. Okay, so it looks like there's two options available. You can get the ferry to Hagnaya Port or there's a bus that says Bantayan Island. The Bantayan Island bus is leaving at 8.30 but that does head to Hagnaya Port. Just found out from one of the guys at the bus station that the Bantayan Island bus is direct. The Hagnaya Port only goes to the port and it stops. Only port. Only port. Right. Thank you, sir. So it's 8.20 and we're actually leaving a little bit earlier because the bus is full so there's no point waiting for another 10 minutes before we leave. So let's see how long this takes. I think it's going to be three and a half hours. We'll find out on the way. We've got the tickets and per person from the North Bus Terminal in Cebu to Santa Fe in Bantayan, it's 280 pesos per person. You can see the bus is full, but here in the Philippines when the bus is full, they've got some of these little stools so people can sit on the stools as well. We've stopped for a few minutes on the way. Um, there's a few places here as well where you can grab some food grab some drinks and if you want the toilet you can do that as well. Okay, so we've got the tickets to go to Santa Fe from Hagnaya Port and the tickets were 359 pesos per person but there's also a terminal fee to be added on top of there as well. Hi, so sir. it's 384. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm dropping my wallet and my phone. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're at Hagnaya Port now and we've got the tickets. The next ferry is leaving from here across to Santa Fe at 12.30. The tickets were 359 pesos per person, but there's also a terminal fee, which is 25 pesos and I think this journey should take about an hour and a half. Now, times wise, the first ferry is at two in the morning and the last one is 4.30. So make sure you're here. Probably aim to be here at the latest before four o'clock. So the weather is lovely. This is probably the nicest the weather's been in the last week. Fingers crossed that we get good weather like this when we're in Bantayan. We're running a little bit late. I think the ferry's um, gonna leave maybe about half an hour to 45 minutes later than scheduled. 
no big deal because we can't check in until two anyway. So we're gonna get there at good time. And I think the area that we're staying in, in the south of Bantian, is called Santa Fe. And I think it's only about eight minutes from the port. So when we get there, we'll show you around the room, give you an idea of what's in that neighborhood. We're gonna be here for eight days. So we're hoping to do a few things and do a few vlogs while we're over in Bantayan. We've just arrived in Santa Fe in Bantayan and we're not sure whether we need to get back on the bus to go to the destination that we're going to where our hotel is or whether we need to get our luggage off Jerry's just gone on the bus, we're going to find out what we need to do here. They're going to stop over there and then we have to take the luggage. Yeah, oh, okay. and we have our luggage is underneath the car. Okay. Right, so we just need to get a tricycle now. From what I've heard, it's 50 pesos per person, but we'll see what happens when we try and find out the price. Hello. Hello. Yes, we're going to Carl's Island Inn. Yes. Yeah. How, how much? Two people. Two. Oh, three Yeah, there's two of us. Okay. 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 What's the price? Okay. Do you not know the price? Do you not know? No. Okay. Uh, they haven't told us the price yet, um, so we'll see. It's only eight minutes away, it's not far. What's the price? Can I check the price first? Two uh, people. 150 together. Okay, okay, that's okay. fine. Thank you. That's good. I've got someone already. No? Listen. Hello? How much to Alice Beach? Alice this Beach. one, 150. I know, no, 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 60. 60. Okay, so we managed to get this tricycle for 150 pesos. We're staying at a hotel which is called Carl's Island Inn. And it's about 10 minutes from here, or a little bit less. So we've made it to our hotel and my estimation was about right. Door to door it has taken just over six hours. So we left at about 8.20 and it's about 2.15 now. So just over six hours. So we're just gonna get checked in now and then we'll show you around the room that we're staying in for the next four days. And then we're gonna move to a different hotel in a, different, in a similar area, but about 10 minutes from here. Hello, are you okay? So this is the Wi-Fi password to your room. Thank you. And that you also have free hot water and cold air 24 hours. Yes. As well as coffee if you want any. Oh, awesome, just over here. Yeah, just over there. Thank you. Um, also, if you want to connect a work around here and then you need some Wi-Fi, there's a different Wi-Fi here. Okay. So I hope you could... Um, Ah, oh, thank you. Just let me know downstairs if you need a motorbike. Yes, no. yeah, we will. We're not, we don't think we'll get one tomorrow, but maybe the next two days we'll get one. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. Thank you. <gasps> two beds. This is the living area, so we've got, we'll start over here. So we've got a table and then we've got a little mini fridge here. This does include breakfast and we've got to I think we're actually on the same floor as where the breakfast is. Let's see if there's any water in the fridge. There isn't, but there is a bottle here which you can just take down and fill up in the communal area. And we've got two beds. And what we found recently in some of the Airbnbs or hotels that we've booked, the, 
bed, a double bed has been really small and I'm like a starfish in bed. So poor Jerry's been sleeping on the sofa and the sofa wasn't very comfortable. So this is a treat to have a, a double bed each. Oh, very nice. Um, got a television. Do you know what? I never use a television in a hotel ever. So, but with this one there anyway. Um, there's a fan and there's air conditioning. Um, but this is quite spacious actually, it's bigger than what I thought. Then this open plan bathroom section here. And then here's the bathroom and this is nice because we've just stayed somewhere for a week with a tiny bathroom. You couldn't swing a cat inside the bathroom. Um, and then we've got a balcony area outside here as well. So this is really spacious. and. The the price for this, this was 2,500 pesos a night, including breakfast. While you're staying here as well, in addition to the breakfast, there's also free coffee. There's some coffee made there as well. And there's access on the balcony to free cold water. And then of course, you've got your hot water for your coffees. And this communal outdoor space is just lovely. This is lovely. My first impressions are I really like this and I'm happy that we're going to be staying here for four days. Hoping for really good weather during the, our eight day stay in Bantian. But the weather has been unpredictable. Um, it is rainy season, so it's to be expected. We're going to rent a motorbike here. It's really cheap to rent a motorbike in Bantayan. At this hotel, it's only 300 pesos to rent for one full day. So all being well, tomorrow or the next day, we're going to get out, explore the island. There's actually a lot of beauty, a lot of nice nature and scenery to see on this island based on what I've found when I've done my research online. If you have been to Bantayan before, please drop us a comment. Tell us in the comments what you like about the island, what you did when you were here, and if there's any other tips for the rest of the Philippines. As always, leave us a comment, share your ideas with us because we've got a long list of things we'd like to see and do. And if we don't do them during this visit this year, we'll certainly be back next year to do them. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and I'll see you soon.